Hello, sports fans, and particularly White Sox fans out there. I got another White Sox update for you. Coming right up. So, um, you know, the White Sox, what can I say? I mean, I, I put out a video last week, I think it was last week, saying, you know, not a lot's happening. Here's what they, you know, a couple of things that they've done and a little stuff on the side. Here's some guys that maybe they'll think about signing. And by the way, one of those actually did come true. I said that the White Sox would potentially go out and, or should, go out and trade for Lance Lynn. And they did that. Now, they traded Dane Dunning to get Lance Lynn. So, the White Sox are in definite win-now mode. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Lance Lynn is still an excellent pitcher, excellent right-handed starting pitcher, and He's, had, he's coming off a, a very good year for Texas. The year before last was also a good year for Texas. Um, so he's still got plenty in the tank. Um, it is a little, you know, there's a little melancholy there, though, saying goodbye to Dane Dunning, who is a good young starting, upcoming starting pitcher. I think we're going to miss him long term. But I think if you're the White Sox and you want to win now, yeah, you go out and you get Lance Lynn, and if it costs you Dane Dunning, then it costs you Dane Dunning. But now you got a top three in that rotation of uh, Giolito, Keuchel, and uh, Lance Lynn. And then you um, also have, uh, don't forget, Dylan Cease. Now, Dylan Cease is still, I mean, he's okay, but he still needs to iron out some things. And you also potentially have Kopech, who might come back, and that guy has electric stuff. And if you got a staff like that, I, I don't see any reason that they don't win the uh, <clears throat> they don't win the uh, AL Central. But if as if that wasn't enough, they have also done it or are in the process of doing. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but at least it looks like they've agreed to terms with. Um, their former outfielder, Adam Eaton. Uh, the uh, reported terms of the agreement are a one-year deal for $7 million with an option for uh, $8.5 million. A one-year option for $8.5 million. So Adam Eaton's back. Um, probably not quite the Adam Eaton that we traded to the Nationals. Um, but you know, I mean, I guess that's going to be the, the White Sox new solution in right field. Now, if he's even 95% of what he was with the Nationals, um, you know, the latest Nationals version of him, then that's, you know, that's, that's fine. Um, he's still probably got, like Lynn, definitely still has some gas in the tank. So, we're going for it, I'm, and I love it. I love it. I've never seen this out of the white side. Well, we, we haven't seen it in a long time. And it, and it seems like they're making good deals. Like the White Sox, a few years ago, they were going for it, you know, by making trades for people like um, Shields, James Shields, but they weren't really ready, and they weren't that good. And James Shields wasn't that good by the way but now it looks like they're targeting the right people and they're getting um it, it looks like we finally got a contender on our hands so there's the two the two big splashes that the white Sox have recently made 
Now, in addition to that, you've probably also heard that we brought uh, Len Casper over from the Cubs. He was in the Cubs uh, TV announcing booth, and now he's going to be the radio voice for the uh, White Sox or one of the radio voices for the White Sox. And he will, on occasion, be on the TV um, with Jason Benetti um, whenever um, Steve Stone is off because Steve Stone apparently has it in his contract that he doesn't have to do every game that the White Sox play. So in those instances, it looks like, you know, Casper will be in the booth with Jason Benetti, which I'm looking forward to. I love Len Casper. He's awesome. He was a great announcer for the uh, Cubs, and I expect him to be just as good with the White Sox. And unlike being an athlete on the field, he does have the gas in the tank because you don't have to. It's not like your skills are going to diminish uh, demonstrably as an announcer over time. So, yeah, Len Casper coming over. Uh, so what else we got here? Um, oh, yeah, and Dick Allen died uh, yesterday, I believe it was, on the 7th of December. Uh, Dick Allen played for the White Sox. You definitely might know that. He had a, a lifetime. He had a 58.8 war, 351 home runs. Hit 292 with a 379 on base percentage and a 912 OPS. Um, the biggest drawback against him, and probably the biggest thing that held it held him back from putting up even better numbers than those, were that he uh, was, to put it mildly, he was salty. So, and not I'm not saying he didn't have the right to be but it was far more prevalent with him and he wore it on his sleeve a lot more than a lot of people did. And that may have cost him. He um, was, I mean, that's basically probably why the, the Phillies um, didn't hold on to him. So he, uh, yeah, he had his, uh, he had his um, attitude and behavioral issues while he played. And that probably prevented him from adding on to these stats and maybe getting himself into the Hall of Fame. Um, I don't know that those statistics, I don't know that you would say that those are, that are quite Hall of Fame worthy statistics, but they are on the bubble. They're close. So if he had done a little better, and he even said in his later years and in later interviews, he wishes that he had been more of a team player, um, less salty to the press and to other people around him, and that he had gotten more out of his talent. But anyway, it's sad to see him go, a passing of a great baseball player and one of the great White Sox from history. And now that leaves only one thing that I'm going to tell you, and that has really not anything specifically to do with the White Sox, but you may have missed it. I did a I did my first live stream last Saturday night at 9 p.m., and I intend to do another live stream this coming Friday, the 11th of December at 9 p.m. You like that? You like that? Uh, two of the topics that I uh, anticipate talking about are baseball in general. So not only the White Sox and the deals that they're making and how they're going for it, but other teams, other deals that, um, that other teams are making. And, uh, you know, and just the baseball offseason in general so far. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the Army-Navy game. Being a former Navy guy myself, Obviously, I'm rooting for Navy, but we will see where the discussion goes on that. Um, but yeah, those are just two topics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two topics that I anticipate talking about, and we will see if there's, I mean, if there's anything you want to talk about, these, you know, these things are just me getting on, talking about sports. Nothing, you know, nothing is set in stone, but I do like to come up with something for the agenda that I can talk about 
until people have questions about whatever they have questions about or want to talk about. But that'll be the second live stream ever for the sportsman. The first one went off well. I didn't advertise it because I didn't know if it was going to go off um, as expected and as I wanted it to. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, slip it in there and then anybody that saw it could jump on. And that did happen. We did have a lot of people jump on and talk. And uh, so we'll, yeah, I anticipate doing it again on Friday night, the 11th of December at 9 p.m. So that's what I got. A lot of big news. I mean, the White Sox, all of a sudden, they went, they're doing nothing, nothing, nothing. Bam! And then off they go. Um, and, and that was, I mean, two of their biggest needs, too. Another, at least another starting pitcher and someone to play right field. I think they still need to work on the bullpen. We'll see if they do that, if they do address that at all. But I think that that's about all they need to uh, still address at all with, you know, a good reliever or two. So what do you guys think? You excited? Excited for baseball starting soon? All right, not really soon. But um, Strat is starting soon. Strat set will be out in February. That'll be awesome. So anyway, um, I, I don't want to get too far off topic. I've nailed the main point, the main talking points that I wanted to get out here about the White Sox. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. I don't have any commercials, at least not right now that I know of. Apparently, YouTube can now put commercials on my channel, even though I'm not monetizable yet. Um, but assuming they don't do that, um, we'll see. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.